Hi there. If you look at all the homes in JJAC that are collectively known as child care institutes, a home for special needs children is obviously is not there. You would wonder if JJ Act Framers made a mistake by omitting such a home that is so much needed. When I say special needs, children with physical limitations, mental illnesses, mental retardation, terminal illness, drug addictions, all these children are considered as children needing special services. So how did the JJ Act Framers not have a home for such kind of children? Well, they did not omit. Rather, they put in such a deep thought that ordinary people like us miss it. So this video is all about to give you that insight into where such a home exists in JJ Act. Now, if you go to Section 50 in JJ Act, it speaks all about children's homes. It has three subsections. Let's look at subsection 2 of Section 50 of JJ Act. And it reads like this. The state government shall designate any children's home as a home fit for children with special needs delivering specialized services depending on requirement. What it is saying is anybody who wants to take care of children with special needs first and foremost they must be registered as a children's home and then state government can designate your home as a fit home to provide those kind of specialized services for these children with special needs. So how does the state government know that you offer such kind of specialized services for children with special needs? And you can't also just write in a piece of paper like a letter and say to the government that you know I'm a registered children's home, um, I take care of mentally retarded children or I want to take care of mentally retarded children, kindly recognize our home as home for the mentally retarded. It doesn't work like that. Governments don't work like that. In this subsection 2 of section 50, very clearly it says, state government will designate a home fit. I take that word probably referring to being recognized as a fit facility. If you look at the fit facility, section in JJ Act, it very clearly says that such homes provide specialized services in which there are you know services like medical treatment, rehabilitation, vocational training, skill development, you know you name it they have it. You can provide any kind of specialized services. What it means is first and foremost as I said earlier that you have that you have to be registered as a children's home and if you have the desire and if you have the wherewithal and if you have the skills to look after certain particular kind of children that needs specialized services you apply to your district child welfare committee to be recognized your home your children's home to be recognized as a fit facility if you want to know more about fit facility in JJ Act just go one section below section 50 that is talking about children's home. Section 51 of JJ Act speaks very clearly about fit facility. You can also go and get more details from JJ rules about the fit facility but in the JJ Act it talks about it in section 51. Finally I want to talk a little about the reasons for structuring it the way that they have done it. As I told you, there is no exclusive home among the child care institutes of JJ Act, but it is a subsection of a children's home, which means you have to be registered as a children's home first and then get recognized as a fit facility providing specialized services so that you can take care of that particular need of a child, a particular group of children. 
Now, I want to explain to you that the government or the framers didn't want it that way because that would create long list of homes which, we, which they didn't want. To. Number two is, if you understand the foundation of JJ Act, it is all about protecting the rights of children. So by having homes recognized based on their needs could violate the dignity of a child. That is why they put it under a children's home, which means if I am a children's home, registered as a children's home and recognized as a fit facility to provide treatment or take care of children with HIV, I cannot have a board in front of my facility home for HIV positive children. I cannot have a board home for mentally retarded children. I cannot have a board saying it's a home for physically handicapped children. That violates the dignity of a child which is completely contrary to the foundation of JJ Act. And that is why if you are going to be taking care of children with special needs in a fit facility, remember you are registered first as a child care institute that is children's home so you can only put a board as children's home in a nutshell yes there is a home for children with special needs but understand this you must be registered as a children's home first by the state and then get recognized as a fit facility for the specialized services that you are offering by your district's child welfare committee.